Kilspendi Golf Club, often overlooked by visitors drawn to its bigger and more famous neighbours, sits nestled quietly down a single track road in the small village of Abilady in East Lothian. And maybe, just maybe, that's a good thing. For Kilspindy is the quintessential Scottish golf club. And the lucky visitors who are curious enough to venture off the well-trodden East Lothian path will be rewarded with what is hidden within. The magic of this short, five and a half thousand yard par 69 owes a lot to its place as a local members golf club, serving its local residents first and foremost, for over 150 years in fact, which is where the story begins. Founded in 1867, Loughness Golf Club was, at the time, the 35th registered golf club in the world. Back then, the course occupied a different site, on the other side of the Peffer Burn. And after 27 years of play, the landowner, George Hope, decided to create a new course, which was closer to the village of Gullen. This met with disapproval from those who hailed from Abilady, and ultimately, the club fragmented, leading to the formation of Loughness New Golf Club in 1894, where it still operates today, less than two miles up the coastal road. Fortunately, the neighbouring landlord offered the remaining members the links that we enjoy today, and the club was renamed Kilspindy in 1899. What began as a feud has become a time-honoured tradition, whereby Loughness New writes to Kilspindy, requesting they drop the new from their name to which Kilspindy always replies, no. The etymology of Kilspindy has its roots in Christianity, a nod to its worshippers that settled nearby. Kil, meaning cell, at the time representing a tribe or gathering of followers, and Spindy of the Spindy monks. However, today the course is a site of an altogether different kind of worship, and its parishioners who play in the wind and rain on this par 69 layout will wax lyrical about the beauty of their church and in many ways will claim they have found what the real purpose of golf is all about. Fun. Kilspindy is quirky and encapsulates everything that makes the game enjoyable. It's eminently walkable and rewards all aspects of the game. It can reward you with a good score or punish you for an errant shot and it sits on another stunning piece of land. Its real charm though, is that in many ways, it is the ultimate match play course. With the elements providing the changeable conditions, you can stand toe to toe with your opposition, relying on strategy and mental fortitude to outmaneuver them. Kilspindy is lucky to have a huge number of half par holes and match play allows the golfer to abandon all concept of stroke play. This creates excitement as you constantly work with the conditions of the day, instead of protecting a card, seeking to outwit your oppo by getting the ball in the hole in fewer strokes than him or her. Whether that be through brute force, patience, skill or guile around its small and intricate greens. This format and concept is something many golf courses have long forgotten obsessed with the lengthening of the course and the maximising the standard scratch, making them needlessly difficult or excessively penal, with little regard for the effects on the natural environment, pace of play, or ultimately, the enjoyment. It's well known that the stretch of golf in the East Lothian is amongst the best in the world, with courses to suit every taste. Where golf began in many respects, these clubs have all been instrumental in shaping the way that the game has been played, not only here in Scotland, but around the world. And Kilspendy is an important part of that tapestry. No one can easily answer where they would play their final round of golf when asked, and neither will we. Instead, we'll let our East Lothian host, Malcolm Duck, answer this one for us. I've only got one round of golf to play ever again in my life. Kilspindy being my top five in the world because it's I don't want to go and be beaten up my last round of golf I don't want to go and play a Carnoustie and be spat out I don't want to play a Muirfield and be spat out or an Aesos or a 
or a Trun or something like that. And it's just a great golf course. The views are stunning, and if you play well, you'll be rewarded. And if you play badly, it won't be spat out. I maybe want to play two rounds because it's a little bit shorter than some of the ones now. I won't want to finish, I want to keep on going. But um, yeah, I think I've consistently said Kill Spindy would be in my top five if that was the last game of golf I ever, ever, ever had to play. <laughs>